Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Elise from Discover Me. Elise and I'm in the bathroom, but I just wanted to um, do my little video introduction because I am on a movie date with my baby girl. We are going to see One Love and you know my daughter's half Jamaican, so this is kind of give her a little history about Bob Marley that she may not know already so um hope you guys are well welcome or welcome back to my channel don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and um i'll see you in the video It came out before. It came out before we went, before I went to Africa, didn't it? It came out about almost a month ago, so we're late to it, but we're gonna enjoy it. All right, bye. brings us here to experience it on a huge silver screen. Welcome to AMC Theaters. We make movies better. Please enjoy the movie. So guys, that movie was absolutely amazing. So if it's still playing in your area, please go out and see it. It just made me love Bob, Mar Bob Marley so much more. He was an amazing artist, amazing man, a, hu a humanitarian. It just was so, it was just good. It was good. And um, I think my daughter learned a lot about Bob Marley that she didn't know. So that was a good thing. And it was produced by his sons and Rita Marley. So they helped produce it. So, you know, the stuff is pretty accurate um, about his life. But, um, but yeah, if you guys get a chance and it's still playing in your area, go see it. It was just so good. It was so good. It had me tearing up and all. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So guys, I am at the park. I'm at the park. My daughter, she's out there. Um, she still likes to come to the park and swing sometimes. And she's over there. I think she's over there taking selfies now. But yeah, guys. Um, oh, I wanted to come and tell you guys that, um, you know, I got the job, right? And uh, background check, of course, that went was fine and the uh, um the drug test was of course fine because i don't do any kind of illegal substances and um so i got my password and my log on email and all that stuff today so yeah guys hold on a second
Okay, I'm back. It was um, a family coming and getting in the car that was right beside me and they were kind of looking at me thinking I'm crazy because I'm sitting here talking to myself. But yeah, so I don't even know what I was saying. Oh yeah, I got my login and my sign on and I start next week guys. I'm so excited about this new little venture. I decided not to do the second job. Um, yeah, I just decided not to do the second job. I, I don't want to like you know be working myself to death I told you guys I'm all about ease and just ease in this point of my life um but I'm super excited and also another thing I'm making the same exact thing that I was making went with the job that I lost before so I'll praise to the most high for that um yeah, so I'm super excited and I really think I'm going to enjoy it. The supervisor is super nice, so that's a plus. And I'll keep you guys posted on, you know, how things are going um, throughout the uh, the position or whatever. But I wanted to, um, so me and Tweety, she's not here. She's, um, she's playing basketball but um i wanted to give you guys our pros and cons so we sat down after coming back from south africa and we wanted to like do a pros and cons of like what we thought you know and how we felt um coming back and our pros for south africa and our cons for south africa and um so I can just read off Tweety's and then I'll see if she she's kind of shy with the camera still so she d didn't really want to um, get on here and talk about it you know but so I'll just read off of her off her list um, first so she says her pros were number one and these are in any particular order I just kind of jotted them down on my phone so if you look if you see me looking down it's because I'm looking at my phone okay so so she said her number one well like i said they're not in particular order so friendly people she said um everybody was super kind and friendly um she enjoyed the customer service the quality of life that you can get there um she said the cleanliness of um like everywhere we went it was just super clean like all of the establishments the malls the shopping grocery stores everything was super clean like impeccable um she said the air quality was really good and the convenience she liked the convenience of the shopping and, and everything being in one spot she said the food and the views so she had eight pros and then her only con was the stairs but I mean this like people staring at her but I think she would get used to it I got used to it towards the end I'm not sure she she started getting used she didn't say much about it anymore but I think it just still kind of make her feel a little uncomfortable but you know I tried to explain to her because I know you guys and my subscribers in the comments always say or try to explain that it's not out of malice and and um, you, the people who are staring don't mean any harm from, you know, they're just looking because, you know, we look different and the tattoos and we just look like foreigners, right? So, um, I think she would get used to it. I got used to it towards the end and it started at first. Okay, so at first I felt really uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable. And then I started to get a little annoyed by it, like, um not angry just a little annoyed and then that was like a, maybe like my third day being there and I was just like kind of over it but then you know just reading some of the comments and you know that helped a lot um just you, with you guys explaining that you know nobody means any harm it's just you know something that happens and so I kind of like let my guard down and and it just I just stopped like focusing on it and then then I was fine you know so yeah so that was her only con okay so that's all she she really had so mine my pros was and I'm not sure if I did this in any any particular order because they all are super important to me um, but um, I have as my number one the energy the peace I felt and the happiness 
Like, I can't even explain to you guys the joy that I felt inside. It's like, um, I don't know, it's indescribable, but it's, it's like I, I, was, I would just wake up happy. Waking up happy for no reason. And I was happy all the time. Like, um, and it's just like an energy that's there that is kind of hard to explain. Like, unless you go there. So you have to physically go there in order to in order to feel what I'm trying to explain. I, I think it's just, I don't know, my ancestors and me being on the motherland. And just, it's just a, a great energy that you just... It's so hard to put in words, but I think you guys know what I mean. Okay, so then the next one was the animal sounds. Like you hear so many different sounds than what you hear in the States, like all these different, I mean, you hear birds here, you know, birds chirping and stuff. And that's wonderful. I love to hear nature and animal sounds, but um, it's the loud birds and birds that sound like they're saying hi and just like all kind of stuff that I've never heard and it's just so so wonderful to me and I just loved it and I loved like going out in the morning and hearing it even like when we were in like the condos and the high rises I would still hear like these bird sounds and and in Durban like the the ocean and the birds and just it's just it, I don't know it's just amazing to just like the nature the nature of everything that's in Africa and I love that okay you know I love the views the views the views the views being able to be somewhere and turn to your left to your right look up at the clouds looking amazing like the clouds don't even look the same like it looks like you're in a photograph or something everything is so lush and green and bright and colorful and I wasn't even there in the springtime so I can't even imagine when I see these trees these uh jacaranda jacamama jaca the purple trees guys you know what I'm talking about the purple trees that's all over Johannesburg that I see in the pictures oh my god I cannot imagine being there and seeing purple is one of my favorite colors purple and turquoise um are some of my favorite colors but and green I'm starting to enjoy green but now I'm veering off onto a whole nother subject okay so those purple trees I want to see those purple trees so bad like in person just to see and smell and see if they have like a, a, a floral smell we can see them on the, like the petals on the ground oh I just can't wait but to 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 be standing somewhere and you can see the ocean this way the mountains this way just green lush trees it's amazing or to be on a balcony and just see a whole panoramic view of south africa it's just it's breathtaking you guys know i loved it so much and that was like one of my favorite things is just to be looking around just seeing and taking it all in and i can't imagine to live in a place where you see such beauty every day on a daily basis you guys are so lucky <laughs> okay so my next one the rich culture it's like so much culture and everybody takes so much pride in their culture and who they are and their history and their um um is it like do you guys call it tribes or you know like everybody takes pride in who they are and i love that so much and i love the fact that most well this is what from my research and what i've been told that most majority of the south africans love their country and they don't leave and that speaks volumes like you're not trying to leave don't leave because it's amazing it's amazing it's it's amazing we're trying to go there it's amazing okay so let's see what else the languages and um, the fact that everybody speaks English, so it's easy for us as African Americans to come there and to communicate, but the languages, the different languages and how brilliant everybody is, like, you guys are so smart, you're so intelligent to know so many different languages, like, like most Americans like we only have we only speak English and maybe a little Spanish or maybe like a half of another language French some you, you know because we'll take it in school and um 
but the majority of us only speak one language and that's English. You guys grow up knowing and understanding different languages and you can speak to somebody in one language and they can be speaking to you in a different language and you both understand. You don't have to switch the languages. The brain power, the, the smarts that that takes, like the intelligence of it all, it's just amazing to me. And so I love that. I love that so much. Okay. Then the shopping. As you guys know, I love to go and browse and window shop and look at the different things. And that's always been my thing to do. Um, kind of like retail therapy. I just like it. It just, I don't know, it just makes me happy. So the shopping there, I mean, it's not a lack of shopping i mean you got your high-end names your gucci's your hermes you got all that stuff which i don't really really um <clears throat> get into all that i'll i'll rather have a dupe because you know that's a lot of money to be spending but anyway that's a whole nother subject um but you have all of that for the girlies and guys who like the expensive you know luxury items then you have the the stuff that is like you know for the average everyday girl like myself you got all the stuff that we got here you got h&m zara all the stores that we like to shop and some different ones you know that i've never seen before because you guys know if you watch my videos that we stayed in mr price like every time we went to the mall we went in mr price and looked around so and I know it's other stores and stuff so we just have to explore and see what other stores um, that are there but it's like malls galore shopping galore like I mean you're not lacking on the shopping for sure so that's a plus then the food you know I love the food because that's all we did was eight and everything I said was 10 out of 10 majority of the time everything was just so good and so seasoned so good and it's just because like you know it's melanated people cooking this food and we know how to season stuff and everything is just so good so i love that i love that i love that and then the quality of life um like tweety said like the quality of life that you guys live is just amazing like with the beauty of the homes and how the houses are built it's like so structurally sound and um the convenience of everything the just the the good quality doctors the education it's 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 a great quality of life and i can't wait to have a little tiny piece of that one day the safety like i felt super safe like i felt super duper safe like the homes seem really protected with the fences and all that and then like the communities are gated and there's security everywhere you go so i mean i felt really really safe i know in my research um they were saying a lot about the phones and people snatching the phones and things like that but i mean i saw all you guys out with your phones just up and just walking around like it was nothing um i don't know if that's another of the propaganda to try to scare people i don't know if it's true or how true it is but I mean, I did have the little tether and made sure we had our phones strapped to us all the time, but um, I didn't see anybody else doing that. So, but just me being, you know, not from there in a new place, I tried to um, take the precautions that I could. But other than that, I, I, I never felt unsafe. Like even walking at night, when we walked at night from the mall of africa like all the way around because it's a pretty long well kind of a long walk around to the front of the ellipse buildings and it was dark I didn't, and people were passing i didn't feel scared like i didn't feel scared in the ubers like i didn't feel scared i did bolt and uber and some people were saying how boat is kind of sketchy or something i the boat drivers were super nice like I felt safe I felt safe I don't know so the safety there um, and for a single woman you know I feel like you'd be super safe and it's nothing to worry about then the cleanliness just like Tweety said the cleanliness of the malls and um, everywhere we went everything was top tier like you could eat off the floor seem like the floors shine like everything the bathrooms now I, we did go through some spots where we did see trash you, you know like trash on the sides of the streets and that's and i'm sure you know i'm not going to get into politics or anything like that but everywhere has places that has trash so but for everything that we saw and where we was in like the parks and it just was no trash on the ground like you know so so that was a plus 
and then oh i already talked about the landscape and the beach and the views seeing all the, the mountains and the the green and the trees and the, the grass and the sky and the the beach you know when we we're in durban you know it's just amazing um and from what i heard about the healthcare, top quality health care that's a pro um yeah so another major pro is being in the majority you know in america we're a minority and uh, majority of the places that we go it's just a few little melanated people sprinkled here and there and the rest are white and it's nice to be in the majority it feels really good to be in the majority that's all i'm gonna say about that i love that <laughs> okay um it's so many things to do like i feel like it's not a lack of stuff to do in johannesburg um from there's day parties there's night stuff there's nice restaurants there's like the four ways there's festivals and i've heard that there's concerts and i saw that there's a cruise and yeah so that was pretty amazing hold on one second okay i'm back all right so yeah so much stuff to do so so much stuff to do um there's there's the casinos there's the amusement parks there's there's like a plane ride a short tiny plane ride to Durban or you know a little bit longer plane ride to Cape Town like um there's the townships there's brides there's parks there's water oh it's a waterfall that I wanted to go to that's like in a um maybe like a botanical garden or something like that I didn't get to go to that I want to go to that and I also want to go to this herb land or something like that so that that's definitely on my list for the next time I come but it's just so much stuff to do and it's it you know it it's stuff like we do here like I mean there's nightclubs there's um I don't know it's just it's 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 like bounce houses trampoline places skate parks um just a lot to do oh excuse me I feel like a bug flew on me okay mm -hmm. okay um so I was on things to do um the sense of family I feel like it's a great sense of family people value family it's like a love a sense of unity a sense of belonging like um with the jobs um well with the things like that that close early like you know you have time to spend with your family and and you're not working all day like here in america it's like a work 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 mentality like work two three jobs and you never have time to spend with your family or let alone do things that you love so that's a plus and just the simple fact that it's the motherland it's africa it's like a place that we were snatched from so that is my pros all right so my cons my cons my cons are it's getting dark out here we're gonna go in just a minute my daughter's right there on the swing but okay so my cons my cons were the cost to get there it, it they make it so hard for us um to get to Africa is like super super expensive like the flight is very very expensive and the flight is so long um like I think our flight was a 10 a 10 hour six so like 17 hours to to fly there that's a con for me and then the cost of the flight ticket per person is astronomical when like you can go to other countries you can go to england for like 300 dollars, or you can go you can go to um what else i was looking up like you can go to jamaica 200 dollars. you can go to costa rica maybe like 300 dollars. like most flights out of the country are like two three hundred four hundred dollars at the max and that's just for the regular you know for the regular seats um but you're kicking out thousands to go to africa and it, it seems like that's a part of the propaganda to keep us stuck here. So that's a con. Um, I think another con would be like um, the 90 days, only being able to stay 90 days on the passport, like, and the visa process being kind of hard to to get um, a visa approval. Um, but that's for another um, story. I'm just speaking of, you know, from what i've heard others tell me and then a con would be the load shedding but the load shedding could also be a pro because it gives you a chance to unplug and 
um, get off of these phones that we're stuck on and you know go outside do something in nature be with your family but the con part of it is like if you don't have a backup generator or inverter or something like that and everything goes out no Wi-Fi you're stuck and sometimes it happens multiple times of the day so that's a con and um, hopefully that can you know be changed in the future but I don't care that con don't you know deter me from love in South Africa okay um oh the another con is trying to convince family members like why you want to be in Africa why you want to go to Africa because we're all indoctrinated with our propaganda that we've been brainwashed to think that Africa is so horrible and everything is so bad everybody thinks it's just dirt and dust and nothing else right everybody lives in huts and animals just trampling over your hut and all kind of you crazy stuff right and that's a con trying to, to like convince it gets it's you know it gets a little frustrating sometimes like because you tell people you know that you went to Africa or you going to Africa and like Africa why Africa you know and when that should be a place that we all should want to go um but we don't know like so hopefully my videos and what I'm doing is showing people showing my African-American brothers and sisters how amazing South Africa is how amazing being on the continent being in the motherland just go you have to go and see for yourself you have to go see for yourself don't take my word for it but kind of look at my word as a guide and to know that we've been lied to that they lied to us that it's not terrible that is it does have in infrastructure that Af south africa is beautiful and amazing and it has modern amenities that we are used to in america it, it, it's not lacking a thing and it's it and it's a better quality of life for you and then the last con would be leaving those family members behind in America that don't see the vision that you have or that I have. That is going to be a major con because you want people to be on your same page and your same level and understand and think the way you do. But everybody doesn't think the way you do and everybody has their own journey. And that is going to be a tough one for me to go and everybody not go with me, especially my five, my tribe, you know, my children. Um, so, yeah, guys, so that is our list of our pros and cons. It is getting super dark out here. So we're going to go and take it in. I'm going to let you, well, I guess you guys can see in the background it is getting dark. So, and I don't even know if you guys can see me. I got my phone light going on, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed coming with me today. Um, we enjoyed the Bob Marley movie, One Love. And I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on about my pros and cons. Um, for the beautiful, the wonderful, the the luscious green, the wonderful, the perfect energy, the perfect space, the place I want to call home. Beautiful, beautiful, sunny South Africa. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I love South Africa so much and I can't wait to return. So don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button and like and comment. You know I love to communicate back and forth with you guys. I try to I try to respond to everybody's comment um, as soon as I see them. So please comment, please like, please share, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And um, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, I can't cut it off. Where's the button? Too dark. Come on, Baby